So what, what business model can we incorporate to fight poverty? And um, based on our experience, micro-franchise or franchise model as a whole is one of the best solutions we've seen. Uh, and the ingredient of franchising is perfect for, for solution to fight poverty, especially if you want to bring that entrepreneurial mindset behind it. You know, franchise involves training, it involves support, and it involves a ready business uh, that somebody can plug in. And all those ingredients are key to have a real impact. And franchise allow you to expand much, much quicker. Because now you, all you have to do is develop, of course, all the different structure, uh, operation manual and all. But when you have everything in place, then all you have to do is plug people in and out to the business and monitor them and see their performance. So we've adopted micro franchise business model because we've seen that's the, that's the only way we're going to have the maximum impact with minimum time. And if you physically have to help somebody individually and all, uh, it's just not going to work. The biggest problem we've seen on a micro level uh, is a lot of organization, NGO and all, focus too much on training and that's it. And we have so many, so many organizations that have training solutions and train about everything and anything. But let's focus on business, for example. So they they bring somebody in or they bring a group, they train them, offer them all the training they need. Then that person still have to go out there and find a business to do, find the capital, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It's useless because all you're giving them is information but not the tool needed for them to move forward. It's like giving a, a, a guy a, a car but, you know, has no tires for them to move forward. <laughs> it doesn't make any, any sense. So. You have to have a 360 solution for people at the BOP, you know. You have to offer them the training, you have to have a business ready for them to plug in, and you have to give them the support they need to improve on their business, you know. That's the only way it's going to have a real impact. And unfortunately, um, that's not the case. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, companies that just focus on one or two things out of the equation and not the whole thing. Why? I don't know. You know, the, the, the funny thing is all the, the companies that I know who offer 360 deal don't necessarily get the support they need. But that's what is really needed uh, at the BOP. And keep in mind that uh, the unemployment issues happening, the population increasing, that we're going to have to adopt solution that can implement it real quickly and bring the solution uh, bring the, the solution that is needed for them to generate a certain revenue. And of course it's been established entrepreneurship is key, not just on, on all levels of society. Teaching entrepreneurship, job creation will come from entrepreneurs, but not just job creation, micro entrepreneur is the future. The job market is going down, there's less and less company hiring, technology is changing uh, the game. You know, there's less value to the human capital because of technology, robotics, etc. I'm sure you guys know all those things. So micro-franchising, I think, is the next level. Um, and and micro-solution incorporated to solve those uh, unemployment issues has to be combined. But of course, that micro-franchising has to be adapted to that market. You can't just copy and paste the regular franchise model to the micro-franchise model. It's just not going to work.